Tuesday, July 30th. Welcome back to 52 Weeks of Vlogging. Today, the Kidlets and I went to the ROM on Bloor Street because they have a special exhibit about Mesopotamia, which is kind of awesome for me because that's where my name comes from. I covered this a little bit in a video that I did about Easter and the origins of Easter and the origins of all the Easter traditions, and you can get to that video by clicking the link right there. And the long and short of it is the Mesopotamia exhibit was awesome. It got me excited about researching that time in history, and it also got the kidlets excited about the idea of making their own clay tablets and stamping words into them and letting them harden and then wrapping them in more clay because that's how they did envelopes in those days. Oh my god, totally awesome. They actually did envelopes in those days. Holy crap! And the exhibit's fantastic and I totally want to go back without the kidlets so that I can just like stand in front of one relief carving and just gaze at all of the incredible detail because wow, their carvings were amazing. I mean the Egyptians had nothing on these guys. And then while we were having lunch outside the ROM, this lady came running up to us with a shirt that said Canadian Outback's Amazing Race on it. And she ran up to me and she was like, do you have any old movie stubs? And I was like, uh, how old? And she was like, I don't know, just like not today, like not new, just old. They have to be old. And as it happens, I had taken the kids to see Turbo recently. So I was like, oh yeah, actually, uh, let me just fish around in my purse and here, here's an old movie stub. And she was like, oh my God, thank you so much. Oh my God, oh my God, can I take your picture? So I let her take my picture because that was a nice thing to do and I was glad I had done a nice thing for her and I figured she probably needed like evidence or something so there is a picture of me somewhere holding up my old movie stub from going to see the movie Turbo. I don't know where it is, it's floating around out there someplace but if you find it show me the link. And Canadian Outback's Amazing Race is like a real thing. They're apparently this team building company and they do team building stuff and one of the team building stuff that they do is the Amazing Race in Toronto and I guess maybe in other cities, I don't know, but wow, so that's a thing, that's cool, link down in the description. And then because I was still thinking about the Mesopotamia exhibit, I went home and I googled my name. I didn't google my name the way most writers and actors google their name, like looking to see how many people are talking about their book or talking about their website or their movie or just talking about them in general, although that would probably be a good idea. I googled my name because that's a thing I do, google my name, it's an old name. Like we're talking origins in the thousands of years BC guys. My name is older than Jesus. So sometimes I just google it because since my name is over 3600 years old, sometimes it just shows up in weird funky ass places. Like one time I was walking through another part of the ROM and I found this exhibit on ancient Crete and how they had all these little devotional figurines that they would leave in temples and stuff. and. They were called their Ishtas or Ishtas. I don't actually know how they pronounce it, but they spelled it the way you spell my name. And that counts. And then more recently, my name has been popping up as a type of yoga, which is like a blend of all kinds of different kinds of like Hatha yoga and Ashanta yoga or whatever it is, because I don't actually do yoga very much. So I don't really know what I'm talking about, but it's a blend of all these different kinds of yoga that is like a personalized blend, which, makes sense because in some cultures my name means like personally cherished specifically to you so like it's like a tailored like kind of thing. And then there was this time I was talking to a Turkish guy who was coming to do a quote for insulating my attic and he told me that my name means the cream in Turkey which is like slang for like pretty white girl so that was awkward. Yeah, pro tip, don't hit on the lady offering you a job to insulate her attic because she's probably not gonna give you the job, especially if she's already told you that she's married with two kids. Like, that's not cool, man. Also, there was a character on Stargate who had my name, at least spelled like my name, and I don't know if it was actually pronounced like my name. She was a priestess, so that was close, not to me, to the origin of my name. And now I have found out in my meanderings today that apparently I have a Turkish cafe in London. Who knew? Certainly not me. But there it is, link in the description, Ishta's Cafe. And it's a Turkish cafe, which like makes sense because like the cream, cafe, coffee, cream, they go together and that's awesome. Also, it looks pretty reasonably priced. So London people, go to Ishta's Cafe. It's on Cleveland Street. I don't remember what the postcode is, but the link is in the description-y thing. You have to go there and eat there and tell them you know Ishta. I'm actually really tempted to go there myself and just like pay with my credit card and like see what happens, except London and not Toronto, so not happening. Also, Ishta's Cafe proprietors, I will expect my checks in the mail. And while we're on the subject of cafes that I didn't know were mine, there's a neat little place in Toronto called Bar Mercurio, which, yes, 
Mercurio, last name here. Where's my money? And Bar Mercurio is on the list along with Isha's Cafe of places that I wanna go to and pay with my credit card with my name on it because that would just be cool. So that's the news for today. I still have to do my exercise, so I'm gonna get out of here, but I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.